You can still, am I moving? Good morning. I hope you guys can hear me good. I'll wait just a few minutes to let some more people get on. Okay, my name is Carol Bandy Carson. I am a visual artist from Opelika, Alabama. I am standing in front of um, the Opelika Art House. I'm on the board of the Opelika Art House, but I also have a studio here. This art house is um, very close to downtown Opelika, but the reason why I feel so privileged to be able to have my studio here is I grew up in this neighborhood. This is the neighborhood that I grew up in. And there's li literally, um, I can literally walk to the house I grew up in, the church that I grew up in, and um, the people, the schools and everything is just right here in this area. So I'm honored to have my studio here and I'm gonna walk up to my uh, studio. You trying to... Oh, and I want to also say thank you to the Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts for having me and to Laura Bolquin, Bolquin I think that's how to pronounce your name, for helping me with this lab because I had no idea how to do this. And then my cameraman today is my son, Jared, because I didn't think I could navigate this and talk. So thank y'all. We are almost up at my studio. studio some of my work is in here I'm still moving in so I had to um, go ahead and put art in here we're gonna start right here with um, some of my favorite things which are um, vintage photos these um, photos of, are of my great-grandmother they're from the 1920s when she was just in her 20s I love to work from old vintage photos, and I also love collecting um, vintage linens. And I am kind of incorporating that in some of my work. The work that's on the website was created using some of these vintage linens. Another one of my very favorite thing is this black charcoal pen. Um, charcoal marker pencil. And I use it a lot in my work. I use it as outlines and to go back and fill in to help me um, remember where I am in my work. So this is just essential work, essential for my work. Um, also, these, I love um, old churches and um, stained glass windows. So this here is just me playing around trying to figure out how to incorporate the So this is just two examples. This is one little church window that I did. I enjoyed doing it and I um, plan on doing a lot more. Um, this big painting right there is, um, and I'm gonna try to answer questions um, as I go, I can't really see them, so I'm trying to look at them to see if there's any questions, but I will um, answer them um, when I see them. This painting, um, I'm calling it um, Birthing Legacies. It is a painting of Anarcha Betsy and Lucy. They were um, slaves who were um, um, operated on by J. Marion Sims without anesthesia. I was asked to be sit on a panel of the National Bar Association pre-pandemic, and then it got canceled, but I was asked to do this painting for um, 
their yearly meeting. Um, they were going to be talking about protecting black mothers, exploring paradigms, perspectives, and policies. So I was going to sit on that board, I mean sit on that panel and then talk about um, this piece. This is um, paintings that I did for the movie Whitewater. It's a lifetime movie. You can probably see it on um, YouTube if you look it up. It's called Whitewater and I did these Jesus paintings for that movie. Jesus essentially became a character in this movie. So I'm very proud. It's my 30 days of fame and I'll probably talk about it forever. So um, these are the paintings that I did for that movie. I feel like I'm going really fast. So, um, are there any any questions? So, okay, so I'm going to move around. Um, like I said before, I love um, what my bio on the page says that I love um, old sharecropper photos. I love working from the black and white photos of sharecroppers, anything southern, anything family oriented, um, anything um, black church based. So this is a painting that I did. It's kind of one of my first paintings that I did. Um, and he, I found this in a newspaper called the Southern Courier. And he was um, a sharecropper, so I call this one long suffering. So um, the next thing is a painting that I created for um, HGTV's Bargain Hunt. Um, they asked me to do like um, a lake related painting to go in a little boy's room. So I created this piece, Gone Fishing. Um, now, it actually was not even seen in the episode, but it was on there, I promise. And so, um, I still have it. it. It actually sold. The owner of the house bought it, and then they moved away. So, I still have it, um, and I'll eventually get that to her. Um, so, next is, um, so, during the pandemic, I played around with this flower pot. This is the first one I painted. And I posted it on my social media. And the next morning when I woke up, there were just so many messages asking me if I was going to sell them. And so um, I started selling them, and here are more of them. I started painting them and selling them. It somehow went viral, and I am still, um, filling orders from last year on these. I couldn't get any um, any pots because of the pandemic. They kept running out. And I think just because everybody was home and farming and every, growing plants. And so um, I'm still working on that. There were two art galleries that were interested in carrying them. So once I finish these orders, I'll just give it to the galleries and I won't do the custom orders anymore. Um, I first started painting um, portraitures um, in 2006, actually. My mom was sick and she was staying with us. And I started out actually um, while decorating houses, that would be murals and faux finishes. And I was taking care of her at my house. And so I was turning down jobs. And she told me that I should paint faces. Well, I didn't think that I could. I had not gone to school for it. And these are the first two paintings that I ever painted. They're very stylized. Um, I still kind of paint that way now, but these are the only two paintings that my mom got a chance to see before she passed away. So they're very special to me. I just try to hang them um, to keep me inspired. This painting here is called This Is Us. 
um, I kind of sketched it out on some board that came in some packaging and um, and it, again it's kind of vintage very 1950s and my husband asked me one day who is that and I said this is us because he's lighter complected I'm darker complected he still doesn't think it's us but I do this painting was in um, 21 dreams show along with um, the black Victorian painting called Lottie that is on the Montgomery Museum of Arts um, web page. Now you will see, we're going to try to do a screen share, the little um, cotton balls. This is like my newest and latest interest. I um, really want to do some work around um, pink and cotton. Um, there's so many negative um, I guess underlying feelings about it because of slavery. So um, I want to kind of change that narrative. Look, I guess not change that narrative, but make it where um, we can find the beauty in it. Um, I guess there's always beauty, find beauty from ashes. But um, are you able to share that? Are you sharing that? This is my, um, the first one of the series that I've done and it's sold already, so I'll be doing um, a lot of more, a lot more of those, and posting them. Um, I also wanted to. This is um, a painting. This is a print of one of my paintings um, that I did. That's a commission piece that I did um, for a lady in Prattville, and so I do a lot of commission work. Commission work is hard. It's very hard to um, it's very hard to navigate commission work sometimes because you have to be really specific because a lot of times people tell you what they want to see, what colors they want you want you to use. Um, so I don't feel as free when I'm creating commission pieces, and it generally takes me longer. Um, I'm going to show another commission piece that I just finished and delivered. It is called um, Pearls of Wisdom. And that collector um, wanted something that reminded her of when she was a child and she sat on a porch swing with her mom and then she did the same thing with her children and she noticed that her daughter um, was sitting on her porch swing with her son. And so this is like three generations, her, her mom, and her daughter. Um, I did not work from photos of them. This was um, just from her telling me how she wanted it to look. So I'm going to also show you um, this painting that I've been working on for a while. Again, I'm working from a black and white image. And this, um, I collect these images on Pinterest, y'all. So this is um, the image, and then this is the piece. Um, this is as far as I've gotten because I realized I did not just on the board, so I got to go back and kind of start over. But I love working from black and white photos because I can kind of see the lines better, and then it gives me the opportunity to envision the colors as I want as I want them to be. I want them to be um, bright and happy colors, and so that's how I work from that one. This is a um, work in progress. Um, it's on a wooden plate. A lot of times I work from black and then um, to me it kind of makes the colors pop when you um, when you start from a back, black background. I also work from red a little bit because um, I feel like the red um, kind of lifts it and makes it a little brighter. And I don't know where I am on time. Ten, ten, yeah. Okay, so can let's see if anybody has any questions. It's kind of it's kind of lagging, so I'm trying to see if you guys have any questions. Are there any questions? Were there?
Okay, y'all, I'm I was so nervous about this. I am just like 15 minutes in and I um I was panicking thinking that I didn't have enough to say. I guess I should have slowed down just a little bit. Um Lynthia said, I love peplum photos from the Southern Korea. Yes, I love, love, love working from those. Um, I had the opportunity and I worked for a museum in Tuskegee called the Tuskegee History Center. And so we had um, access to those um, old Southern Korean newspapers. And so a lot of those images that I, um, I found were in there. So I kind of flat shot them and um, work from them. I still have a bunch of those um, saved that I'm gonna use in the future. Um, oh, okay, so I guess I can show you this. These are some, just some little paintings that I've done. This is the only, only pandemic piece I did. I really don't like doing stuff like um, of stars, you know, when stars pass away or, you know, I guess like, primarily on wood. I do um, paint on canvases, but um, wood is my favorite. And then this is another, just a little piece on wood that, um, that I did with the gold. I sometimes add gold leafing or gold pen work um, to glass. it up just a little bit oh so I also make jewelry out of gourds I don't have any with me but this these are some that um, that I've done on wood so this is just kind of hand painted these little faces are hand painted I do um, collage work on on them and I paint on them so I'm, now that I'm actually moved into my studio, um, I'm going to work more on my jewelry. I guess this will be my jewelry table. And then I want to show, pan out and show you this other table because I stand a lot when I work. And my son, who is videoing me, made these tables um, for me so that I can stand and work or use a stool um, when I'm working. And this is my um, drafting table that I, I pull out and use when I want to sit and work. So I'll be able to, I guess I'm going to put wheels on this so I can sit and pull that out when I work. And then this, the last, I think the last piece I have in here is um, a piece that, I, that I'm working on. It's a flapper. I love looking at old pictures of African-American flappers. I'm just kind of playing with abstract backgrounds. I started this one um, when I went to Colony in um, around Lake Martin. So I started it then when, um, after taking Pam Garrison's class. So I, I got her here so I, I remember to finish her. So that is about all. Oh, and right behind my son, you can show them that, um, Mahalia Jackson piece. Again, I did her from, I think this was Mahalia Jackson when she sang at Dr. Martin Luther King's funeral. And so I did this painting working from um, some of the images from, from his funeral. So now I'm gonna try to see if there's any questions. Someone asked, 
if there's any for sale. Um, currently, no, but follow me on um, Instagram and I'll start posting. This live was not as bad as I thought it was, so maybe I'll do this more often, especially from here. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, wait a minute. So yeah, purchasing, I'm working on a website. Um, I have my domain name and all of that, so I'm just working on the website. So hopefully um, there will be work for sale on a website very soon. Oh yeah, so yeah. So um, also I'd like to invite any of the listeners to, we're having an art show here at the Art House on June 5th. I am... I'll be in my studio. You can come in and walk around and um, talk to me. I may have something for sale then. So it's going to be um, the June 5th. And I'll post um, on my page exactly um, where it is and directions and all of that. Oh, tell, let's see, tell us more about the movie your artwork was in. Okay, Whitewater was filmed in um, Opelika, Alabama in 2015. And so it was about, I want to, especially if you haven't seen it yet, I don't want to tell you everything about it, but it was essentially about a little black boy who was about six or seven years old who had dreams of drinking out of the whites only water fountain. So it's a very, um, lighthearted um, movie. I got an opportunity to work on set, do some of the um, set design, help pick out furniture for the set. Um, I did just about all of the artwork in the movie and I um, did casting. So I did, I have three, I have, actually have three movie credits from that one movie being filmed in Little Opelika, Alabama. So um, it was also not, so I went to California for the premiere and um, then I got a chance to go back to California because it was nominated for two NAACP awards. And so I got an opportunity to go back out and actually attend the NAACP awards. I'm going to just keep kind of scanning around, letting y'all see the same stuff y'all seen over and over and over again. But um So yeah, thank you, Tara. She said, gorgeous work and your spirit is beautiful too. Thank you so much. So is yours. Thanks everybody. This was nerve wracking. I got 10 more minutes. So y'all got to come up with some questions. Thank you, everybody. Hey, Lynthia. So I'm going back and seeing um, if there are any more questions. So. Okay, so I can end it now, I think. I just want to say thank you, thank you to my, he's trying to hide, that is my, um, my film crew and thank you guys so very much for joining me see you next time okay I gotta make sure I'm saving this right